Stalemates can be tricky. Yes. Frustrating. Thank you. No, what? Or necessary when you need to secure a draw. But let's look at five of the prettiest stalemates. After a check here, white played the beauty move, rook g2, which black obviously has to take. And then after b5, black is forced off the diagonal and forced to give white a stalemate. Here in the next one, white is severely under pressure, but he managed to find such a beauty move. He played queen f2. If the pawn takes, we have a pretty stalemate. And if the queen takes, we have this little move g3. And no matter what black does, it's stalemate next. Okay. Are you as curious as me about what the fastest stalemate possible from the starting position is? It's only 10 moves, and unsurprisingly it demands the queen to be a real vacuum cleaner of black's pieces. And in only 10 moves we can already make this very pretty stalemate. But do you think it's prettier if no pieces are taken but we take 12 moves instead? Hmm, I'm not so sure, because this game is so pretty as well. Because after the finishing move e3, white is so pinned. So that was a stalemate in 12 moves. But do you think it would have been more beautiful if both players were stalemated at the same time? Then let us look at the game with the double stalemate in 18 moves. That does sound unreal and of course the queen is the vacuum cleaner again. And very soon when all these pieces are off the board we have after d takes e3 here the double stalemate. And think about it. In the beginning we had 32 movable pieces and only 18 moves later, it's a double stalemate. So I'm curious, which one of these pretty stalemates did you find the prettiest? And if you want more of these kind of videos recommended to you, then please subscribe. And then I'll see you in the next one.